Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on Java. Please subscribe to my channel. To subscribe to my channel, click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the latest updates. In today's session, we are going to take a look at uh, this keyword and super keyword. Okay, so what this keyword will do is this keyword refers to instance of current class wherein by using super keyword we can refer to the base class can refer to the base class Okay, so let us see an example and understand this. Let us open up Eclipse. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new project. Okay, it will be Java project. And then give the project name. Click on finish. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new package. We don't click on finish. And inside this package, I'm going to create a new class. And enable main here. Click on finish. Okay, so since this is also a class, inside this class, I'm going to create a variable. Okay, this time I'm going to create string yes is equal to hello. And I'm going to have a constructor also. So public main class. And I'm also going to have another method public void public void print hello. Here I'm going to print here I'm going to print the value of s. Here we have created one class and inside that I have a, a variable variable which is instance variable a constructor and a method okay now as we said earlier this refers to the instance of this class to access any of these variables constructor or method uh, generally we would create an object Okay, so let me create another method here uh, public void. Okay, so you can also have overload the main method. By default, it is going to call the, the static uh, main method which takes a string array as its arguments or parameters. Okay, so now okay, from this main, if I want to call this print hello or change the value of this variable as I can do that by using this dot see using this I have access to the class members ok 
okay and this dot print hello okay so this cannot be used with the static methods since the static methods are accessible via the class name all other class members apart from static members can be accessed through this keyword suppose say if i create a static string here or static int i is equal to 10 then if i go to main method here so this dot okay we can see that the static field main class should be accessed in a static way so i cannot use this to access used to access static numbers Okay, all non-static members can be accessed through this keyword this refers to only this class okay so if i want to access it through the main uh, what did we do earlier so we created an object of of main class so which is main class main class is a new of main class and using this object we called in the other methods or member variables for example print hello okay uh, how do i call this main method i still need uh, i still need to use the object of this particular class okay let me save this and run it right click run as java application okay. so main class constructor called the hello it printed hello here and then it printed raj here it printed raj because i'm setting the value as raj here and then calling this method by calling this method whatever yes has at that point of time it will get printed so that is why i you know raj got printed here let us look at super keyword now okay so let me create a new class I'm going to call it as class A. Simple. Okay. So inside this class A, I'm going to define some variable. Int age is equal to 28. String name is equal to John. Okay, and I'm going to have public void print details. Okay, here I'm going to print name and age. Okay, so here I'm going to have constructor also, which is public class A okay, sys out base class constructor. thing is I'm going to copy this okay so now I'm going to create another class new class and this will be class B ok 
okay i'm going to create another class here I'm going to new class and i'm going to call this as class b and class b will extend okay from class a extends okay this class b will be extension of class a so extends class a okay here also i'm going to have a constructor so public class b derived class constructor okay i'm going to have one method here public void print hello this is out hello okay so far i have a base class which is class a and subclass which is class b suppose say from the derived class if i want to call the method from the base class i can make use of super keyword super dot see as soon as i put in super i get access to h which belongs to class a which is the base class as well as name which belongs to the base class and i can also access the method print details here okay so super keyword allows numbers of base class super keyword allows us to access the members of base class so here we have access to print details method we are, which we are calling from print hello method which is in derived class so this is a constructor of extended class so if i want to call the constructor of the base class from here i can make use of super keyword also with brackets okay so this will call base class constructor okay so whenever we want to call a constructor we use brackets here if you want to access any class members then we use super dot and the method name or the variable name Okay, only for the constructor we use super with bracket okay so let us go to the main class now okay inside the main here i'm going to create an object of subclass okay so which is class b is equal to new of class b from here i'm going to make i'm going to call object p dot i'm going to call this method print hello whenever i create this object it is supposed to call the base class constructor as well as this constructor that is derived class constructor and whenever i call print hello it is supposed to print the details which is provided in the print details method and it is going to print this name and age as well as it will print hello okay so let us save this let us save main class and run it okay, right click run as java application okay Okay, so 
till this we have seen earlier now as soon as we created an object of class b first it called the base class constructor then it called the derived class constructor and then inside the print hello we are calling the method in class a which prints the name and age and after that it is going to print hello so as we said earlier this keyword refers to instance of the current class wherein we can access non-static members of a current class wherein by using super keyword we can refer to the base class members okay another question is by using super class can we refer to the private variable or methods from the base class the answer is no suppose say i added a car here uh, which is private car c is equal to j for example okay so can i call uh, can i access this c from this derived class by using super so let us check that let us go to print hello and type in super dot as you can see c is not available here only the age and the name is available that means by using super keyword we cannot access the private members of a base class okay using super we cannot access private members of the base class okay so let us see about static okay so instead of private i make it as static okay let me go to class b again type in super dot okay as you can see the static members are also not accessible from here okay so if you can access it here let us say okay so you'll get an error here which is the static field class a dot c should be accessed in a static way okay so you cannot use super keyword to access static members of the base class Okay, using super keyword we cannot access private members as well as static members of the base class okay so this is how we can make use of this and super keyword that is the end of this session thanks for watching